In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to add multiple audio tracks in your slideshow designer as you create it in version 17. This is a new feature and we'll show you how to use it. So I'm going to take some of my images that I have in my media room and we'll drag them down to the timeline to begin our slideshow. Next thing I want to do is click on the button above the timeline that says Slideshow and that will launch my Slideshow Creator. I can pick from any of these options here. Let's just take the montage for example. And this is normally where you begin to add background music. I do that by clicking on the plus and the music symbol. And now I get a different screen in version 17. Let's look at the screen. I have a plus up here and I have up and down arrow. I have a garbage can. I have a trim option and I can do a fade in and fade out. So if I click on the plus it will take me to my file system where I can begin to load my audio files. I've navigated to the file folder where my music files are stored and we'll pick a couple of them. I'm going to hold the control key down and click more than one and then I can click on open. The other way thing I can do is simply click on the plus again. It will take me to the same file system and I can choose another and add that. In order to change the order of the audio files, you simply highlight the file you want and then you can click on the up or down arrow above the list of audio files and it will move that particular file to that location. If you want to remove that file from the files available for you in your slideshow, simply click on the trash can in the upper right corner and it will simply remove that file only. If you want to trim any of these, I would recommend doing it before you load them, but there is a trim function here and we can do a fade in and fade out. Let's start with the first one, the floating guitars. I'm not going to fade that in. We'll make that come in with full strength and I can play it. And I noticed there was a gap here where it uh, didn't have any music. And so I can either drag the trim icon to the marker or I can click on the uh, mark in option. I want to check the end of this too and see where it goes. And there's a little more room than I think I need at the end. So I'm going to do the mark out. So I've actually trimmed my floating guitars. Let's do the follow your dreams. Okay, we have a bit of a uh, gap here too, so I'm going to mark that in. And we can do the same at the ending if I wanted to. I won't in this case. And I won't fade that in as well. So these are the ways in which you can edit. Again, I recommend that if you want fine tuning edit, that you edit the audio files before you bring them into this window since we don't have a lot of precise control in here. But you do have it if you want it. So then we'll click on OK and now I have both of these audio files listed here in background music. We'll leave the slideshow preferences at the default for now and then click on Next. And it will create my slideshow. I play it. And if I move more toward the end, we'll see we have our second piece of music. Let's click Next, and now I'm going to simply put it in the timeline by clicking on the Advanced Editing option. It reminds me it will replace the clips in the timeline. I'm fine with that. And so now we have our slideshow as one segment with two different pieces of music. Let's click on where it transitions from one to the other. Now one thing I'd like to do that I sometimes think is helpful is I want to extend this into the next piece. So you can actually click on the second piece of music and drag it and make it a little bit longer. I'm going to hold the control key down and add a, another keyframe, audio keyframe, 
and drag it down so it begins to fade to zero in terms of decibel level. Now I'm going to take the picture I didn't use and I'll fill the gap with that. Then I'm going to go to my transition room and take a transition, anything I want. Let's take a blur for example and drop it down. I'm going to modify it and let's make it a crossfade. And now I have a transition out of my slideshow while the music overlaps. Let's play the end of it and you can see what I've done. Now if I were to do this perfectly, what I would do is I would crop my image like this and now it will fill the screen. Let's try that one more time. So that's a nice transition out of the slideshow. But adding more than one music track is a new feature of PowerDirector version 17. And this is a simple look at what you might be able to accomplish. Thank you.